Hi y'all. Today we're going to do the Magic Bullet Mini. We're going to review it. We've been meaning to review it for some time, but every time we thought to use it, we didn't have the camera ready. Let's go ahead and see what's in this box. My main concern when ordering this small one was that um, it may not have the power to grind up frozen bananas and frozen strawberries, but they promised that it will. So let's see what we've got. Let's just get these things out and see what's in here. Some tall stuff and short stuff for now. Okay, there's the business end of the deal. And we have a trusty manual. There's our warranty book and we're just gonna push this over here where you can still see it and go through the parts with you. Looks like we have the motor base. Let's see what that looks like. It's So you can see that and we have here um, the short cup it's shorter than the tall cup so. there we go okay and this is the party mug with the comfort lip ring I guess we'll figure that out as we go so we got all our parts out and let's see how to load this. So in the bag, we see the warranty registration card. And let's look at this booklet and see what's inside. The recipe and user guide. So here it's telling you all about the general safety information. The cross blades are sharp here. Don't, don't hurt yourself. It's telling you that. Uh, basic information here that you can read through and all the things again that are included. And we're thinking about running over here and making a, the banana coffee frappe looks good, but let's, let's try a fruit drink. Yeah, something like this is what we're gonna try to do and demonstrate the strength of the, of the blender for you. We've got her plugged in. The unit is, is plugged in and ready to go. Um, there is some weight to this, some pretty substantial weight for the size of it at least. Um, we've got some silicon uh, gears in here. Um, looks kind of interesting. And then we went ahead and we washed out the container with some warm soapy water. There's the blade. And we're gonna screw this in and just turn it on first and see what happens when we turn it on before we add any fruit. I believe... Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna push down and see what happens. Nothing, because I didn't do it right. Push down. Oh yeah, you just have to really push it down a little bit harder. There you go. So it works. There is a little plastic odor, machine smell, something. I don't know if that's a good or bad sign, but that's what we're getting. So I still haven't quite figured out what this is for. Let's press on and, and see. It shows it on this drink here. So, oh, 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 I bet. Oh, comfort lip, I bet. The lime is on it. So I bet this is to make the, that otherwise the thread doesn't have to go on your lip if you're gonna drink it to go. Okay, mystery soft, I guess. That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so we're just gonna make a banana berry smoothie and a little tip here. We used to have these going bad all the time. And cause you know, you try to get riper bananas, at least we do in our family, and you buy them green and you have to wait and then they all go ripe at once. So what we do now is we just put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them as soon as they start looking like this so that we don't lose any. And then the bananas are super cool, cold for the, for the smoothie. And these are two of our favorite juices. This one is 100% coconut water. All that's added is coconut water. Nothing, no preservatives, no chemicals. And I also like this Luza mango because so far it's made in Belgium and it's just water, mango puree, and sugar. So I like the natural thing of that. No vitamins, no, nothing synthetic added. So let's get started in building our, our drink here. We've got a max fill line. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a max fill line right there. So let's go ahead and put, I don't know how many we can get in here, but let's try, let's try two. And then 
few blueberries and a couple of strawberries. All of these are nicely frozen, so we're going to see the power of the motor. Looks like that's about to the fill line, I would think. And let's put some liquid in it. <laughs> it's natural, but it's hard to open, like most coconuts. There we go. If you don't want extra sugar, you probably need some kind of liquid, but that's up to you entirely. And we're going to put the base cap on. Here's hoping it's secure. It feels secure because we got to invert that thing. And okay, we're about to start it. And let's witness the power of the Magic Bullet Mini. I'm going to do a press down and turn motion. I may need to hold on to the base. I don't know yet. taking a little bit to get the bananas chopped. Okay, let's put a little more liquid in it. I'm gonna put a little more coconut water in there. Okay, I think it's secure. Okay, let's shake it up a little bit to combine it. Okay, this should, this should help. Yeah, it's doing it. Looks like it just didn't have enough liquid, quite simply. So when we put some more liquid, it's it's doing a good job. And don't be timid. It's a very firm hold. You have to push down hard if you're just trying to pulse it. But if you want to leave it and have it blend, hands off. Okay. 